Hello everybody, today we're playing the bonus mission of Hitman called Landslide. And I'm going to show you all the different ways you can take out Abiati. So first I'm going to show you the different ways to poison him, which uh, unlock the door over here to this little wine place. And uh, this is a very useful place. There's a crowbar in here, and most importantly, you have the, uh, the uniform for one of the bartenders. So once you get that on, you can uh, head back out and over to the bar. There's the crowbar. And you're just going to wait uh, for him to show up. He'll drink some wine, and then he'll request a uh, different type. And the bartender there will go and get it. And uh, she's the only one that will recognize you as not uh, actually being a bartender. So just wait till her back is turned and come over here and you can use the vial that I brought with me or you can get the rat poison but I put that in there and that's gonna make him go over to the bathroom so just wait for him to show up again he's gonna make his rounds he'll come back and drink that and then he's gonna head over to the little restroom area they have so right now he's starting to get sick and just follow him over there he uses the one out here near the beach and just get ahead of him because the guard will show up and uh, not let you in there so you have to already be in there and there he is now you can uh, either drown him in the toilet and just like that or uh, you can just walk up this way and eliminate him that way. That'll get you the ballistic kill too. So the other way is to just straight up poison him and you just do the same thing, except you just use poison. The actual poison that will kill instead of the other one. And there you have that. Now I'll show you uh, how to do this sniper challenge. Just go up to 47's hideout and you know that is the only place where you can smuggle weapons and have the sniper rifle up there. Uh, up this way. Unlock the door. Handy to have a lock pick usually at all times. It's a quieter way to do it too. Open it up. Get the rifle. And then now we're going to head up to the second floor apartment. And you'll just wait here until he comes by. He's going to come down the alley over here. Now, as you can see, he's walking by, so I would just get back into the building a little bit once you're uh, all ready to aim. That way you're not seen. About this much is good. And I'll walk right through here. Just get ready. And take him out. And that's all you need to do. Uh, if you get out fast enough, nobody should search yet. Uh, you gotta go drop the, the rifle back off in his apartment, but you'll be fine to get out of there. So the next way I will show you is uh, all the stuff with the stage. So you just hop over the barricade here. There's a guy that comes over and smokes a cigarette, but if you're quick enough, you can get by him. And this is the easiest way to disguise yourself as a crew member. They have a, the uniform right there. So just wait up against the vehicle here until he finishes his cigarette. He's the only one of the crew that's uh, downstairs here that will actually notice you. Now you'll need the screwdriver. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do the electrocution on the stage. So you just come over here and you will expose the wire. Next you'll wait, uh, these two will have a conversation. Once the other one leaves, you will uh, you will uh, turn off the, the rack here. He'll come over. He's gonna use the stage to come around, so just go behind. And then this is where 
you can uh, adjust the water pressure so the water leaks out. And this is going to make um, Abiati come over to the stage. So, well, it's not going to make him come over to the stage. It's going to make him come over to the, the stage area and have a conversation. So you want to turn this mic on. And he says some bad things about the crowd. And because he does that, he then has to go up on the stage to address the crowd. So uh, make sure you do that and just uh, wait around over here. You can just use this to blend in. And just wait for him to finish what he's saying. Uh, pretty much at this point, right as he's getting on the stage, you can stop blending in and go over to the laptop and uh, turn this on, and that will finish him off. The other way to do it is remember that crowbar that was in the wine replace. Get that. And I'm going to show you how to drop the speaker on top of him. Just get the, the crew close just like that. And then come upstairs here. And just wait by the speaker until he, he uh, shows up. He's going to look at himself in the mirror for a little bit. And that's when you can drop it. Boom, right there. The next way to do it is um, to set the fireworks off, and uh, you'll need to be a crew to get the um, the remote here. When this guy turns his back and the other guy is over there, you can just grab the remote. And now that you have that, you uh, need to come down and also rig the fireworks up. So I just wait. Turn on the faucet here and get the guard to come over. He's the one you're gonna have problems with. Once he starts to walk over, just hop over the rail here. Oh God, you me a heart attack sneaking around like that. And with the screwdriver, if you don't have one, there's actually one right here. So that's uh, pretty easy. And then you just sabotage the fireworks. And then now, you have to go track down the cameraman. He follows Abiati everywhere. So eventually, he's going to go to the restroom. Just keep following him around until this happens. And um, over there, you will then take him out and take his clothes. Now you have his disguise. So then you go find Abiati and you tell him that it's time to take the photos. He'll follow you over to the dock where the fireworks were, where you rigged them up. Go down here and grab the camera. Once you get the camera, he'll move over to the end. Now, 47 will say some stuff to him. You don't have to stick around for that. It's actually best to get a little bit away from him and then trigger the fireworks. Otherwise, everybody will think you did it. And there you go. Fireworks here are pretty cool. It's a pretty cool effect. And they just kind of keep going off until you head out. Alright, the next way is the church. There's several ways to get him around the church. Um, first, I'm going to show you how to dress up as the priest and take him out as the priest in the confession booth. So I just go the back way into the church and then uh, climb up the uh, weather pipe which is over here it's the best way to get to the bell tower and also up to the room where the priest is hiding out
beautiful visuals on this level. They've also improved the lighting very recently with one of the updates, so everything looks uh, very nice. But yeah, just keep going to the top. And remember this, anytime we have to get on the roof, just remember to go this way. Up on the ledge, and then you'll go down the stairs that are in front of you there. And right in here, just a few flights of the stairs down, the priest is hiding here. You almost can't see him, he's ducking down. So you just subdue him. And take his clothes. You don't have to drag him anywhere, he won't be found, but I just did that just because. You have to wait for this guy, wait till his back is turned on this side and then go by. And we're gonna go back out to the church, you'll go out to the altar and wait here. A couple of the people who work there who do the mopping and stuff will recognize you, so be careful for them. Just uh, make sure you uh, are blending in. Damn Eventually Abiyadi will come in right and he'll go into the confession booth oh, after having I this short conversation with him. And once he does that, you can just go inside. But you gotta wait. If this guy is right here, just wait for him to go by. Otherwise, he'll bust you. Alright, just like that. You can wait a little bit. You can blast him right now if you want. Or you can just listen to him for a few moments. Make sure you're using a silenced pistol. And just right through there, you can take him out. Now the next way is to get the priest to come down, and uh, they'll go to the rooftop. So what you want to do is wait till Abiyadi is outside. And when he's outside, at this point, when he puts the mop down, that is when you need to play the organ to get the priest to come down at the right time. So wait till Abiyadi's outside, taking pictures, and then wait for the moment when the priest uh, is at the sequence of mopping and going over to the altar. Priest will be coming down now. Abiyadi will be coming in in just a moment. He'll see the priest have a conversation, and then they'll go upstairs to the roof. And that is where you can do various things. You can either... Uh, choke him out or push him off the roof onto the uh, the little spike. There's Abiyadi now. And they're going to go have that conversation. So once they're talking, uh, head out, go up the um, storm pipe and back up to the roof and just hang off the edge. There's the pipe. We're heading up. There's a camera there too, but if you stay low enough, you shouldn't be seen. Just don't go too far away from the wall. Wait for them to talk, and eventually he's going to push the priest off the building. And at that moment, he'll be by himself, free to do whatever you want. And here he's vulnerable, and you can just push him off. And that is how you get that achievement. Or if you want, uh, you can choke him this way. And that's how you get that one. Or, if you're feeling like it, just get him in the eye with a ninja star. Now if you wait long enough, he'll smoke a cigarette and then he'll go back down and, um, and uh, he'll be right under the bell tower. He'll need the crowbar and this is when you can take him out. Just wait till he goes down the stairs, use the instinct and wait till he's there. Drop the bell on it. And those are pretty much all the variations around the church, uh, except for this one where you uh, actually electrocute him out in the cemetery. So you need the screwdriver. And you're going to expose the wire right here. And then head out away from the church, kind of back 
to the there's a fountain that we're gonna head over to now this area or a well actually now down here you're going to uh, get the guys in the apartment behind you to come out so wait till she finishes her cigarette if she's smoking one at the time and just wait down here And she's done, so you can move up. And turn off the cameras. And hop back up. And then come over this way to the door right here. The best way to get in is just stand right here. Out of the way so they don't bump into you. And then uh, they'll just uh, they'll come out and you can sneak in. Otherwise, you have to make a distraction and it can be a little more difficult. So this is the best way to do it. So he comes out and then you got one more. And then you're in. You're going to go all the way up. And you're going to use the uh, intercom system to talk to um, whoever's with Abiyadi. And, and uh, you'll change the meeting time to basically right now and then he'll come out you have to read these first to pick those up and then you can do it sir it's me sorry to interrupt what? I'm busy here. Giovanetti's people called they would like to push the meeting one hour ahead if that's possible Look, I'm some kind of and now you just head out And back over to the gravesite. This is where he'll come out. And he's going to pee and get electrocuted. Okay, and the final ways to do it are you need to go up to where they, where the lawyer hangs out. So, you go over to the bathroom. He is going to be in one of the stalls here. Wait for the guard to go by. Turn off the fuse box here, and the guy on the right will go over to turn it back on. In the meantime, get the lockpick and open up the bathroom sure you close the door and then just take him out punch to the face it's all you need dump him in the bin and then take his clothes and the building you need to go to is right outside of the bathrooms here to the right you will see it you'll see two guards standing on the outside you need to walk up and talk to them and they'll let you up And I'll show you the two final ways to take him out in this area. You can sit down here, you're going to have to wait a little bit uh, until they open the double doors there. In the meantime, if you are carrying a firearm, they're going to frisk you, so you can go over to the bathroom, which is in the same room. It's just right over here. And dump your weapon in here. This will You'll need this when you do the chandelier kill. Uh, eventually they'll open the doors, this guy will come out, he'll frisk you. You nervous? Oh, don't be, this is just a formality. And then you can come in. Now they'll notice that you are not the lawyer, so um, 
Once Abiati gets closer, you'll have to blend in. You can do it with the bookcase, or there's a like a ship over there. You can do it, but don't let him get too close. Otherwise, he will notice you. So just blend in here. Uh, they'll have a conversation, and then both the guards will leave, and it'll be just you and him. People talk too much, so we gonna do this. And once he's back at his desk, you can just walk up and you can do the old uh, Joker trick. How about a magic trick? You do that on him and take him out. The other way to get him is with the chandelier. So basically once they frisk you, he'll walk away and just go back into the bathroom and get the gun you just put in there. And then walk back in and have the meeting. Do the same thing. Go blend in. That is your target, Marco Abiati. Good things to help. And then eventually, when he's back at his desk, move over to the ship and drop the chandelier on him. And that is all you have to do. And that pretty much completes all the different kills. There's different variations to do some of these different ways to do them, but these are the kill challenges for this episode of hitman so all right everybody um i hope this uh helps some of you out and got these done for you hope you enjoyed this video uh subscribe and um i'll see you next time take care